The lawn was slightly overgrown, and barbecue smoke filled the air with delicious aromas. Bouncy houses and lawn games had various stations scattered across the church's soccer field. Today was a community picnic, and Diana desperately tried to fit in and be accepted as one of them. Did they remember her from three years ago? Could she come back as if it hadn't happened? It was a lie, of course. They all knew that she was not one of them, and yet they tolerated her, and could not keep her from church. But they could forbid her from volunteering. A decree that was a thorn in her side, in which conflated to become a false idol as she swam in the pain of rejection, believing that reality. Do you want to ride the mechanical bull? Mama, Mama, did you hear me? Hello, Earth to Mama! Layla playfully shoved Diana, waking her from her reverie as she had to catch her balance. Oh, um, yes. I mean, no, 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 that looks questionable. I don't want to fall off, you and Oliver go. I will watch. Besides, it's for kids anyway, she said with a pretend downcast smile. Layla did not buy it. No, it's not, she declared. Look, there's someone's mom now. Just as she looked, the mom fell off. See, I don't want to fall. You go. I'm fine. I will take pictures, she offered. Layla rolled her eyes, and she and her cousin skipped off. Diana sighed. Ever, she took, ever since she took that random trip to botched paradise, she was never the same. She longed for the quiet freedom it offered, too good to be true, as many skeletons existed therein. The line was so long that Diana had time to look around. People having fun, people having friends, and people avoiding her. Eventually, her gaze fell back on the bull and a teenager riding it. It was breathtaking. A beautiful moment outside of time. The way her body became so fluid and whip-like. She moved with the bull and did not fight to stay on the bull, but rather commanded her right to that seat. So effortless, it almost looked as if she was one with the bull. She does not fight like most do. Her dad is a professional bull rider and taught her from a young age. Oh, she's a natural. Diana overheard one of the moms behind her explain. This scene, this lesson would be indelibly imprinted into her mind. Life was not about fighting for one's own will, but manifesting one's will in cooperation with the external will of the greater force. Surrender to come into resonance with. That was a foreign concept. This realization jolted her, and again she looked around, but this time with new eyes, and she saw the same lack of concept play out in every person in attendance, as all of them fought for their right on the social bowl, and all of them fought to not be dethroned, and did underhanded hidden manipulations to ensure a social hierarchy was maintained, no matter the costs. And she was simply fodder to them, but at least she was free. Realizing this, she felt it in her bones. I am free, she murmured, squaring up her shoulders and standing a little taller. I don't have to pretend. I am who I am, and I will not ever be what they want me to be. Ostracization is far better than pretending for external validation. Their life is so sad. Of course, says the one who ha feels the sting of being an outcast. Mama! Layla was mounting up and called out to her. Her camera was already ready, so Layla never knew that her mind was not present. Click, click. She fell. Such a long line to fall in under a second. I'm doing it again, shouted Layla as she ran to the back of the line.